people! Yes, I'm back once again to bring something that isn't a PlayStation Magazine demo. But rather, uh, this is registration demo number one. Uh, this is part of a series. Uh, what's funny is the rest of them are actually called uh, registered users demo whatever. You know. But this one's registration demo number one. I don't really understand that. We have a weird looking loan screen instead of power line. Uh, yeah. Ooh, well this set looks different. Yes, inside track is what it says on the background. I don't really know what that means. But, uh, yes. Now this I believe was made in, well it says 1996 on the disc, but I'm guessing this was released like late 1996, early 1997, did you buy, uh, or did you buy what's on the disc? And if we look at what's on the disc, let's see what we have. We have got Broken Sword. Porsche Challenge, Life Force Tanker, Destruction Derby 2, Cool Borders, Two Extreme, APC 97, maybe that's an acronym, I don't know. Sentient, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Tomb Raider, Monster Trucks, oh, and that's it, Broken Sword, so this is like. Actually, you know what? Oh, I can't let this menu. Actually, I wonder, if you press select, does it reload the menu like there's on most discs? Uh, oh, okay, no, it just functions up as the start button, I guess. Uh, oh no, don't tell me I forgot to play this one. Oh, okay, apparently my battery on my phone's getting low. Sod it. I've already got to play this for like two minutes, because... Well, I've never played this, but I know, I know this is like a point-and-click adventure game, and I really am not a fan of these games. Like, at all, you know. I said before, I'm not really a big fan of, like, turn-based RPGs. There's a few that out there that I do like, like Super Mario RPG and whatever. But, stuff like this, just, no. I really do not like this sort of game at all. Like, yeah. Oh. I'm not really sure what to say about this one. <sighs> in the fall. The okay, I, of the year I can barely hear the millennium. voice. The city holds many memories for me. Of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. I'm just going to have to turn the sound upon this game, I think. Because this is really quiet. Like, I can barely hear it myself. And I'm the one recording this, and it tends to be a lot louder on my end than it does, like, on the actual video. Just because, I guess it's just the way I edit the video, but whatever. But like I said, I'm probably going to play this for like two minutes, if that, because I'm really not the sort of person that likes these games. I mean, there's certain people out there that like these games, I'm not one of them. Uh, I didn't really play this sort of game. I was, from what I've noticed, the only people that play these sort of games are the ones that played them back in like the early 90s and whatever. And it's like, yeah, I, mean, I didn't, you know. I mean, hell, I was a baby in the early 90s. <laughs> so, you know. You know, I was too busy playing, like... I was too busy playing... I mean, like, I played games on the PC at the time, but I was playing stuff like Theme Hospital and, like, Sonic CD and Road Coast Tycoon and stuff. And those games are all... You know, I found them to be a lot more, you know, easier to understand and fun to play. <laughs> Yorkin. <laughs> That's brilliant. But like I said, I'm not going to spend much time playing this, it's just, you know, not my sort of game, you know. I mean, if there's, like, if I come across, like, a turn-based RPG on one of these discs, I will try to, I will try to play for it, but this sort of game, I know I'm not going to beat it without spending, like, 57 hours trying to play it. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm just going to skip it after a couple of minutes or whatever. And... I don't really know anything about Broken Sword, I just know it's like... I just know it's like a point-click adventure game, and that's about it. I mean, like, I at least know, like, the plot to this world and whatever, because, like, I saw an LP of it. I don't think I've watched an LP on this game. I said I don't remember this anyway. Ooh, claim terrorists, that's an idea for it. So I'm guessing the story... Is that you have to stop some clone terrorists from blowing up Paris or something? Ooh, Kanye's not gonna be happy with that. Or Jay Z for that matter. 
Oh, in case it crashed or something. I kind of hope it has, so that way I'd have to play it. Uh, yeah, I think it crashed. I'll give it another a winner. I think it's working. Presumably. Oh, wait, here we go. This random stone that is here for some reason. Okay, I don't really get that. Great. Oh. Uh, okay, so what's happened now? I'm guessing this is where the gameplay starts. Well, I say I gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I, hear the ceaseless drone of traffic. I don't, I don't see any traffic. <laughs> but the explosion was to change my life forever. Okay, so what am I supposed to... Oh. Yeah. Just... Didn't say press the square button stuff I on here? I considered here? climbing the lamppost, but it wasn't going to shed any light on the affair. You could try. At least something. The umbrella had protected me from the bomb blast, but it was of no use to me now. Okay, how do you walk in this? Is it the X button? Or, no. Okay, the X button is the button that warps the mouse at the bottom left of the screen for no reason. Oh, okay, you can speed up the mouse at least. Uh, but also, one thing I do like about these sort of games is that the graphics tend to be really good, at least for these, you know, cartoon ones anyway. Um, you know, they tend to have really good graphics like, you know, Discworld. Um, but, you know, it's just I'm not really a fan of the gameplay, just how it works. That's just the way I am. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's certain genres I really am not a fan of. You know, like this, and uh, you know, like cricket games and whatever. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm probably just gonna end this in a bit. The blast had blown out the glass, leaving a gaping hole. I want to see. Can you go through the hole, or does the game not let you? I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. Ooh, you're very observant, aren't you? Uh, yeah, no, what the... Okay, I don't get what is with the controls in this. It's like, why does the X button just I make it warm the to jagged the glass remain Yeah, you said that already. Let's go in here. I assume you can go in there. I'll take that as a yes. And it does this. See, I was kind of hoping this one was a video, so I wouldn't have to play it. Uh, but of course, I just can't get lucky all the time. Ooh, I like the music. It was the body of the old man. Ooh. It was hard to believe I'd seen him alive only minutes before. And are you okay? <laughs> you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Can I pick this thing up. I'm probably just going to go to this and then I'm probably just going to quit the game. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I know it's a woman. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, wait, no. Okay, cuts in, I guess. I think. Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. <laughs> you look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. But you got up you again. <laughs> what happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh, I'll just pick. Let's pick no. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I okay. studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? Only one of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Don't put yourself up. <laughs> Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Yeah. Pour me a brandy. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I think I'm just going to quit out of this. I mean, you know, 
I do apologize if you want to see more of the game. I'm sure there's LPs of it on YouTube, though. For, like, the PC version, at least. Because, I mean, th there's got to be a PC version. I mean, because the PC version was... Yeah, I mean, the PC was the platform for that sort of game. But, uh, let's see what else on here. Porsche Challenge. Actually, I've been coming... I actually have kind of wanted to do a demo for this one. Show off this game. This game isn't really that great, but I kind of enjoy playing it every now and then. You know, it's, it's... The thing about this game is kind of like Ridge Racer in the sense that, you know, it's basically just... It's lacking in content, but, you know, the gameplay is decent. Uh, what kind of bugged you about Ridge Racer, though, was the, uh... Oh, what was it? I kind of booked it with Racer was like all the drifting and stuff and okay apparently this reset the demo for some reason. Who oh, don't tell me the Yeah, the demo is a bit scratched, I'm afraid, and I get the feeling that certain games are probably not going to work on this. Which really sucks. You could blame the previous owner for being a git who doesn't keep take care of his stuff. Actually maybe that's been a bit unfair since I bought the stuff I think. But you know. They don't want me insulting them, they should have kept care of the stuff. I mean, that's what I do in my games, you know. Yeah, it's like, you'll never see me wreck a copy of, like, Sledstorm or anything. I mean, hell, even, like, really terrible games, I mean, even, like, Carmageddon and whatever. You know, I take care of them because, you know, it's like, I don't want to have a load of broken stuff. Yeah, you know, it's just the way I am. And if this doesn't work again, I'm just going to have to skip it. Just, which sucks, because this is one that I wanted to do, but, you know, if I've got to but if it doesn't work, then I don't really have much choice. Stupid disc. Well, actually, well, not disc, more like stupid owner who couldn't keep care of his, couldn't take care of his stuff properly. So that's one thing that always annoys me about people is when they can't take care of the stuff. It's like, you know, it's like if you can't take care of your CDs, you really don't deserve to own them, as far as I'm concerned. It's, you know, I guess it's, I guess it's kind of for the best that, you know, physical media is sort of being phased out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, cause I really like physical media. Yeah, you know, I don't like downloading stuff. It's just the way I am. Uh, life was I don't think I've ever played this one. But let's see. Uh, I don't want to look at this stuff since it's probably not going to work anyway. <laughs> Trolls are pretty simple though, so. But like I was saying, I mean, really, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna keep like CDs and whatever, you really need to take care of your stuff, otherwise, you know. Yeah, within like a year or two, like half of the discs are going to be like too scratched to even work. I mean, I remember, just, you know, like I remember like when I was younger, I didn't really take great care of my discs, but I've learned since then. And, uh, ooh, actually, you know what, this loan screen looks pretty familiar. In fact, I think, wasn't this game on Demo 1 version 5? I mean, I haven't done a video on it, but I did used to own that disc. And yeah, I do have it now, so yeah, I think this game was on that. It's not really a game I remember well, though, because I don't think I really played this at the time. Uh, but let's see. Life Force Tanker. Uh, Dolby Surround, brilliant. Four game features stuff. 20 missions. Uh, okay, level 2. Okay, well, they'll take the controls here. Uh, okay, you have to use RT to strafe. Jump. Okay, triangle to jump, that's kind of weird. Uh... Okay, the one is square. Controls kind of remind me of Doom to some degree, actually. So of course you had two buttons to strafe, you know, or L2 and R2, I think. Or was it L1 and R1? I can't remember. I know two of them switch weapons and two of them strafe. <sighs> God, that lone screen. <laughs> oh, that's so 90s you wouldn't believe. Ah, okay, so this one works at least. It's just a secret area here. I mean, oh, okay, I don't think there's a button to activate stuff. I guess it's like Quake 2 in that regard. Uh, oh. Okay, so I'm guessing I can just hold down the button to fire. I guess I know these controls are really not like great, to be honest. It's like, you know, it's kind of awkward having to like hold down a button to be able to strafe at all. So I know. I guess I know this could definitely stand to have better controls. Uh, okay, you use R1 to switch weapons, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. 
trying when he jumps, that kind of works really. I aren't really sure what I'm doing here really, to be honest. But I can hear something over here. Okay. Where's the enemy? See, the enemy sound like something from like a, like a, oh no, Steven Spielberg film. With like robots in it or something. I don't know what I'm doing. There's some git hitting me over here. Yeah, this is not going that well. But like I said, I'm, I don't think I ever played this game, so do you really expect me to do any good at this? Of course not. I was like, how are you even supposed to avoid this stuff? It's impossible. Okay, and apparently it just ended. This actually not sod it, uh, you know. Whatever. I've played much better shoes on the PS1, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I don't get why that got included on Demo version 5. I mean, I know Porsche Challenge was also included on it, but still. Instruction Dog 2. I, I almost kind of want this one to not work, because I've said this before, I really am not a fan of Destruction Dog 2. I mean, I've had this game since I was a kid, and. I don't really enjoy, I mean, I don't really enjoy the races. I mean, the Destruction Derby mode is alright, but the actual races, it's like impossible. It's designed in such a way so that it's like, if you fall behind, you cannot catch up to the cars in front, and it's impossible. So, okay, is it reset the demo, I think? Oh, no, this one does work. What is this one working on Porsche Challenge? Like, yeah, yeah, don't really play the one that actually plays decently. So I get to play this piece of garbage. It's... Well, I mean, this isn't a terrible game, it's just I'm not really a fan of it. I mean, I'm going to say there are much better driving games on the PS1. Even in terms of, like, stock car racing. I guess I do want to drive in first person. And you'll see in a bit, like, this game is set up in such a way that as soon as someone overtakes you, you will not catch up to them again. I mean, I know, that, I know you get points of, like, crashing into the other cars and stuff, but... You know, it's like I play a racing game to focus on winning the race. And as you can see, there is no way in hell I'm going to win at this point. Because, as soon, you know, the mills are going to crash into the wall. Okay, there's no way in hell I'm going to catch up to the guy in front. It's impossible. Because, like I said, this game is set up in such a way that when someone has got away, it, it's pretty much just like the driver games, really. As soon as a guy is like, you know, two millimeters away from you, you're not catching up to them again. It's impossible. And that's what I don't like about Basically all of Reflections games. And it makes me really glad that Destruction Derby Raw was made by uh, Studio 33. I mean, their games aren't... I wouldn't say they're brilliant. I mean, Destruction Derby Raw is a decent game. I wouldn't say it's a classic or anything. Um, but it's certainly better than this. I mean, this is just kind of not very good, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so apparently I've got some points for some reason. I don't get the point system. I mean, you get points for, like, spinning out the other cars. I mean, what's the point of even having a point system... If getting, if even getting to the other cars is impossible, it's like they may as well not even bother putting it in the game. I mean, I've, I'm gonna say I've never played Destruction Derby One. I mean, maybe that one is good, but I don't know. Judging by this, I really can't imagine it would be. To be honest, I mean, I've certainly seen no evidence from this game that it would be. I mean, this is just as far as as far as racing games go, this is one of the worst ones in my. This, in my opinion, is a really terrible racing game. Because the racing is impossible. It's just, it's virtually impossible. Unless, unless you manage to do a perfect race, there is no way in hell you're winning. It's as simple as that. You have no, you have no chance in hell of winning a race in this. And that really, I mean, that is really what screws this game up. The game is designed in such a way that you cannot catch up to the other drivers. And that is just terrible. I mean, and as soon as you, like, okay, as soon as you even slightly lose control of your car, you're guaranteed to crash to a wall, no matter what. And that is just terrible. I'm gonna search right now. This I don't care what anyone says. This game sucks. It's just no. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you like Destruction Derby. This game sucks. I'm just gonna say right now. Destruction Derby Two is just a terrible game. No, I don't care about this stuff. At least get to skip it at least. So it's, I'll give it credit. I'll always give it credit for that. You can at least skip that garbage. Um, but like I said, Destruction Derby Two just sucks. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, Structure Derby 1 might be a good game, I don't know, because I haven't played it. Uh, cool borders. Well, I've got this one as well. Uh, of course, can I? Okay, well, this is a video, apparently. I don't particularly mind that, because, frankly, I suck at this game. Um, I mean, I, I have this game anyway. I've got, I mean, I have the first two Cool Borders games. 
I have not played the ones afterwards. I mean, I've played the demo versions of them. In fact, I think I've done both of those demos on videos. So I think at this point I have done, like, all the Cool Wars demos on, like, videos and stuff. Assume this works. Which apparently it doesn't because it's reset the thing. <sighs> Fine, I'll try it again. If it doesn't work again, I'm just going to have to skip it. But I get the feeling that with the amount of stuff that doesn't seem to work on this, this might be a pretty short video. Even though it's like, what, like 10 things on this disc, I think. Somewhere about that. Yeah, if it's not 10, it's near enough. Let's try this again. If it doesn't work again, I'm just going to have to skip it. Which kind of sucks, but you know. I mean, it's, it's not like I could play this anyway, so it's not like it really matters all that much, to be honest. And, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people watching this have at least played one Cool Waters game. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got the first two. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. You know, it's... I mean, they're good games, it's just I was never any good at them. And... Well, there's some more stuff after this. Some stuff that may actually work, but who knows. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. See... Yeah, actually, I'm just going to say, this This video is like a PSA to anyone that owns, like, music CDs or any console that uses CDs. Okay, take care of your stuff, otherwise it doesn't work. <sighs> Crikey. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is the best part of these videos, is just why I'm going to rant every now and then about, you know, how people are idiots for not taking care of the stuff. But yeah, I'm going to have to skip Cool Borders, but it's a video, so it's not really that big of a loss, I guess. Too extreme. I've never played this one. Uh, okay, well, the controls kind of remind me of a Road Rush, I guess. Push with foot to start to accelerate. Okay, I don't get that. Oh, okay, so I think you have to, like, mash the X button and then crouch, I think. Something like that. Uh, and apparently the squib and turns. I, I don't know if that's like to do a tight turn or something like that. Uh, but yeah, too extreme. I've never played this game. Uh, and I think this is the sequel to another game which is called... I think it was ESP and Extreme Games, which is another game I've never played. Um, but I've seen it before. It actually looked like a pretty good game. I'm not so sure about this though. Let's see. Apparently, if you hold down circle, you go faster. All the music's not bad. Don't worry, we're going to slow. This bit like one else. Oh, okay, I see. I think I was going to pill. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, no, wasn't. Yeah, I remember this. I've actually. Yeah, I've... I don't know if I've played this before, but I know this was on uh, another demo I've got. Um, which, you know, you'll see if I try to do a video on that one. Oh, okay, the squib and jumps. Okay, well, this is pretty slow so far. <laughs> I swear the graphics in this room remind me of Road Rash, where it's just like, you know, you try to avoid, the, you know, avoid all the stuff, avoid the cars and whatever. Uh, why are there so many people, cro like, jaywalking? I mean, you got a lot of jaywalks in the UK, but it's, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I think, yeah, this really does feel like Road Rash to some degree. Yeah, get it, you twat. That's what you get. Okay. Let's go fast. Gotta go fast! Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, Connor says it's exciting, to be honest. I, I'm pretty, really, I'd playing this, I'd rather just be playing Road Rash, to be honest. I think, I really think that plays so better than this. I'm just saying, it's like, you know, because, I mean, that game, it's like, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, all this speeding up nonsense. You know, all you have to worry about is just not crashing and stuff. Ha! Eat that. So, okay, is this it? Or, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, the music restarted. So, I guess it's not the end yet. I can still try to catch up with the rest, even though I can't even see them. I don't know. Uh, no. So, yeah, there we go. Nearly crashed to the taxi. Hey, hey, coming over. Have some fun with crazy taxi. Yeah. Actually, right, let's. I'm gonna try to see if I can like just punch these other guys off the road. Seeing these guys aren't getting in the way. 
Seriously, why are there so many people across the street? This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's not many cars around, I suppose, but still. It's... Come on, let me catch up with this guy. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, of course, as soon as I catch up to someone else, he just falls off like an idiot. Yeah, good job there, lad. So I know it's going to take me another half an hour just to catch up with the other, with the other people. Actually, this, yeah. It's like Destruction Derby 2 in that regard, except at least this is playable. <laughs> There's some margin of error in this, which is more not safe for that game, because that game is terrible. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what to say about that game. I mean, that one wasn't too bad, I suppose, but I kind of sucked at it, so I don't know. Uh, Apsy97, let's see what this is. Uh, oh no, not a soccer game, a football game, whatever. Oh, I don't feel, I don't want to play this. Yo, at least I actually tell you the controls in the bloody David Beckham game. Before we tackle, dribble, okay, I don't really get this. Okay, so, X is squared pass, circle will shoot. So a button to, okay, there is no button to run, apparently. It sucks. It's like, pretty much any football game with salt has a run button. I know this game's from 1997, but still. Well, well actually, no, this is, isn't this from 1996? I mean, the disc is from 1996, so... Must be. But I don't know what this is. Uh, Dust, Pill, Soccer, and National Ice, oh, that's... God. It's gonna take me like half an hour to type up the title when I'm rendering the video and... putting in the time codes and all that. Uh, let's see what this is. Color commentaries? What? <laughs> don't tell me the commentaries in like, text or something, that'd just be terrible. I get... Why is the pitch blue? I don't get that. Uh, oh, okay, just the CPU yesterday. Great. Ha! Well, I took the ball off them. Uh, see if I can... I want to at least see if I can get a goal in this, because I failed pretty badly at that David Beckham game. Oh, you bugger. Uh, no, can you switch players? Uh, no! Uh, oh, you bugger. Of course, it's, this is like every game. As soon as I go to shoot, you give some bugger trips me off. Every single time. That's why this is like a very football game. They always mark you and stuff. Okay, am I playing as France or I'm not sure. It's like I'm just slide tackling constantly, it's actually working. No, what the stop passing the ball you get. Yeah, so you get I'm gonna pass it like Oh, of course, don't pass it into the computer, you idiot. Of course, I can't even see where the computers are. Uh, of course, straight in the goalkeeper's hands. See, is there a way to change the camera in this? Because this camera sucks. It's way too zoomed in. It's like, you can't really... There's no overall scope of the field. And it's kind of impossible to see what this is. Oh, yeah, great shoot. Straight out goal like an idiot. <laughs> well, it's haven't conceded yet, so there's something. Uh... Then again, I'm playing as France, so that explains why I haven't been losing yet. Because if I was playing England, I'd be like 5-0 down at this point. Oh, what the... Ugh. Why does it take like half an hour to pass the ball? Like in almost any other game, it's like instant. And of course, the game past the goal is impossible. Cause I swear it's like just... It, the ball gravitates towards the goalie's feet, or goal's hands, whatever. Oh, ooh. Okay, well, I've got a corner at least. So a lot of time on this, actually. Which, I suppose, isn't a bad thing. <laughs> this means I'm going to quit every... Oh. Okay, so, yeah, just a corner. Uh, yeah, I think I'm playing Spine Center. Uh, let's see if I can get the goal in. No. Oh, you bugger. Actually, can you even get fouled in this game? Because, I mean, I've slid, I've, got, I've done like a hundred slide tackles at this point, and I still haven't, you know, they haven't even got like a free kick or anything. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> also, why is the pitch blue? I don't understand that. That just looks weird. It's like, have you ever seen a blue football pitch before? Yeah, it's like even when it's like icy and stuff, you know, you know even when it's like really cold or whatever, the pitch isn't blue. <laughs> this just looks weird. Whatever. Uh, let's 
It's been that David Sock, that Dave Beckham game at least. Sentient, what is this? I have no idea. Uh, okay, I have no idea what this is. Search. What's Oh, don't tell me this is going to be enough point and click game. Okay, I have no idea what to expect from this. Uh, the controls are really confusing. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you right now, I have not played this. I don't think I've got this on any other disc, so, yeah. Uh, apparently it works, because the blown screen went away pretty quickly. But I get the film that if this does work, I'm probably not going to have a really good time with this. <laughs> Just by those confusing controls and stuff. Uh... Is this one working or did it just crash the system? I don't know. We'll give it another 20 seconds, I guess. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, it really sucks when you have, like, demos and it's like the disc is scratched so half the stuff doesn't even work. You know. I mean, I, I don't keep bringing that to this point, but it's like, really, if you're gonna. Yeah, if you're gonna get PlayStation games, always take care of the games. I mean, I know PlayStation 1 discs are more durable than, you know. Like, you know, Xbox 360 and your PS3 and whatever. But still, it's, you know, they're still pretty easy to break in comparison to, like, a cartridge or something. That's one thing I do like about cartridges, they're more durable. But at the same time, they're also, they also take up more space. I mean, you because, know, I mean, CDs are, like, really flat. So it's like you keep, like, a whole... You, go, you keep, like, hundreds of them in, like, a row on a shelf. Potentially. I mean, unless, of course, keeping them in, like, the PlayStation cases. As you know, there's one thing that really bugs me about the PlayStation, is the cases that they keep the games in. Like, why are the cases so thick? I don't get it. I mean, like, because in America they just use standard dual cases. Why didn't they just use that in Europe? I mean, that would have worked so much better. You know, they would have been harder to break, I think. You know, they would have fit nicely with, like, you know, music CDs and whatever. I mean, I'm not sure if it's just to make them look more distinct or something. I don't really get it. But, uh, okay. Let's see if this works this time. Yes, yeah, sentient. I, like I said, I don't know what this is. I'm like, like I heard of this game before, but I never played it. I've never seen a gameplay of it. So I don't know what this is. And if it doesn't work on here, then it's probably going to stay that way, I suppose. I might look it up afterwards just to see what it is. I don't know. Um, but I don't think this works. And it really kind of sucks at this, you know, because I mean, at least with the other games didn't work, it just went back to the menu. But apparently this one doesn't even want to do that. So I think I'm going to have to reset this again. Great. Uh, here, yeah, we have to skip that one. Oh, well. Um, yeah. But let's see what else is on this disc. Yes, I don't remember. I think Tomb Raider and probably one or two other games, I don't remember. So far, this video is going pretty quickly as compared to, uh, you know, a lot of the other videos I've been doing. So the thing about the high number PlayStation discs is they take a long time to record because of all the, like, the reuse demos and stuff. Like, you know, you can end up with, like, up to 12 different playable demos. I mean, this has a lot of playable demos, but most of them so far have either been short or they just didn't work. You know, the only one I hear that would potentially take a long time to play through, I think, would be Broken Sword. And I really don't feel like playing through that because it's a point-click game. And I don't like those sort of games anyway, so... Yeah, so we have to skip Sentient and... Okay, we're at Tomb Raider and Munch Trucks. Okay, Tomb Raider... Let's see what this is. Well, I, I'm guessing this is the same demo that was on, uh... That was on that other demo. You know, Demo 95, I think it was. Because they had a bunch of Tomb Raider demos on it. You know, like the first three games. Um, what you know, wasn't there like two different demos for this one? For the first game? Or am I wrong? I'm not sure. So I seem to remember there was an alternate one. Uh, I think all the ones I've got have the same demo though. Uh, okay. Oh, don't tell me this one doesn't work. Damn it! Why doesn't this game work either? This is terrible. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I almost want to get like a, another. I almost want to get like a second disc of this that actually works properly. 
because clearly this one is not working. But yeah, you know, I'm still going to press forward with this because, you know, some of the demos worked and yeah, well, definitely one works. So let's just move on to Winter Trucks and let's just end this. This one would be pretty short, I think. I mean, I've played a demo of this before. Uh, wasn't this maybe a reflection as well? Actually, what's funny is I seem to remember this is a lot more playable than Destruction Derby 2, which is kind of funny. Uh, also, I remember the camera being quite weird. But let's see if this works at least. If it doesn't work, then that will suck. But let's see. Uh, well, overall, I'm not really sure what to say about this demo, because I mean, this video, I don't think really fairly reflects it, because, like, half the stuff on it doesn't even seem to work on this on the copy I've got, because the previous owner was a git, who couldn't take care of a disc, because there's pretty much depend on it. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of being unfair, like, most of the other discs that I got from him uh, were good condition, you know, like, every night works. But I don't think this is working, so yeah, this was kind of like a failed video, I guess. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll see you later, people. See you.